All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is High Ruler, and today we're going to be talking about the hacker situation. And it's no coincidence that you're looking at the screen right now and you're seeing a couple of things wondering how you get those. And it's a great question, and we're going to talk about it. So let's talk about what has happened so far today. Because, well, what has happened so far is that Trix Ridiculous posted a picture on his Twitter of a Deathstroke icon that someone was using in-game, right? Now, if you don't know, hackers have been very much so rampant in this game since january 30th when the game launched you go all the way back to the first day and the first leaderboard and hackers have been rampant they've done millions and hundreds of millions and sometimes even billions of damage and now they're showcasing unreleased cosmetics in the game now tricks posted a picture of the deathstroke icon and he was dmca'd now i think that's a little unfair because what has Rocksteady and Warner Brother Games done for this game in terms of the hacker situation? And as far as we know, the answer is nothing at all. They have not done one single thing. Even accounting for the fog of war, which does exist when it comes to people who work in anti-cheat and then obviously the cheaters, we've not heard a single thing about a band wave. Now, I can only assume that the hacker today was banned because it was showcased that they were hacking, right? It got to social media. But if you guys want to look at this yourself you can go to the leaderboards you can check any of the top people and verify if they're using unreleased cosmetics which we're looking at some right now or if their dps on their weapons is into the hundreds of millions right and it just goes to show that i think rock city and warner brothers are just so far away from the reality of the situation right because I can see them being like, oh, it's only the leaderboards. We can, you know, kind of brush it under the rug and not do anything, which is what they've done. But now I feel like this has to be addressed because it's now going to affect their bottom line. And a big thing that we always get told when it comes to these games is always online and DRMs and the rest of it is to protect the game. Realistically, a lot of that time is to kind of protect their own selves, right? Their storefronts and their purchases and microtransactions. And now we're seeing the worst of both of these situations, right? Where players are now being impacted by the cheaters and they can't progress through the leaderboards all the way to the top. So there is no legitimate fight. And now the bottom line is being impacted because they're showcasing and using these skins. But people like me and people like you are being told that you have to pay upwards of what? $24 for a pack to make sure you get all the cosmetics. I think that's a little unfair. I think that's a little bullshit. And this video today is kind of the call out here of being like Rock City and Warner Brother Games need to figure this out. I think you could look at this cheater situation and kind of turn a blind eye if you're someone who, you know, doesn't care about the leaderboards and doesn't care about that. But I think if you're being asked to pay 10, 15, 20, 25 dollars for a skin, but these hackers are able to use it and not pay a single thing and then not be punished for it unless they're called out on social media. I think that's kind of bullshit. I think that's not really fair. So what are they going to do about it? Realistically, I don't see Rocksteady and Warner Brother Games doing a lot about this. I really don't. I don't see them doing much of anything. They really do turn a blind eye to a lot of these situations. And people can come up with their reasons for that and speculate all they want for that. But it's kind of unfair that we're being sold all these different things when we buy a video game. Like I said, the Always Online and the DRMs. And we buy a game with the expectation that they're going to take care of the hacker situation. And I understand. I've played enough PvP games that it's never a winning battle, right? You're always fighting against the tide here. And there's always new implementations and there are always new ways to do it. But I really, truly don't think that Suicide Squad has gone a day where we feel confident enough in Rocksteady and Warner Brothers to feel like they're taking care of the hacker situation. I actually don't think there has been a day that I can look at and say that that is the case. And I'm sure many of you guys may feel very similarly to that. So... I just wanted to make a video today talk about it. I just don't think it's fair that a content creator gets DMCA'd for showcasing what a hacker is doing and just showcasing the emblem of what a hacker is doing in game, right? I just don't think that's really fair whatsoever. And if they want to DMCA this video, I mean, they'll do as they please, but just remember, this is all in game. You're able to go and see this stuff. You're able to go and look at this stuff through the leaderboards. I'm not doing anything funky here. I'm just in the game as it normally is. I've not gotten around anything. I'm literally just looking at someone's profile in the game. 
And I think if they were to start DMCAing people for that, they really need to take a long, hard look in the mirror and say, what are we doing right now? I think the employee that DMCA tricks over this and the communication internally that kind of approved that is kind of a joke. They really need to hammer down here on their security within this game. And then sure, do whatever you want with legal. But at this point, I'm able to look at unreleased cosmetics that hackers are using. And so at this point, why would I ever buy a skin? These guys might as well show me how to do it because right now they've been doing it for months and there's no sign that these people are going to get banned. Zero, nada, nothing has been said. So why buy a skin? Why do anything? You know, and I think that's really what it comes down to. So anyways, guys, I'm sure I'll have another video in a couple of hours whenever they release their developer update telling everyone that millions of people have had fun playing the Joker season. But with that being said, if you guys want more Suicide Squad news coverage more, make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave a nice little comment, and I'll see you guys next time. As always, enjoy the rest of your day and the night. Take care, take care yourselves. Later, guys.